A lot of pharma companies have brought in zebrafish as one of the model systems in their portfolio. In addition to mice and rat, they also house zebrafish. So when you do drug discovery, there are thousands of thousands of chemicals which are screened and out of which probably one or two are going to be potential, potential ones which are going to be characterized further. So those thousand chemicals that you screen at the beginning, those can be done in a fish model. And then you come down to the most useful ones and then those can be taken to a higher model, model system. So you save time, you save money, and you save resources. So that is the another good advantage of using this model system. The second one is its optical transparency. Perhaps this is the most beneficial aspect of using this model system because you don't need to cut open any pregnant animal to get the pups out, unlike in rat or mice. Right. You can look at the developmental process without sacrificing any animal. Okay. All you need is a very good microscope and loads and loads of patience <laughs> because you want to see the process of development. Right. The third aspect is its low cost. If you spend about 100 rupees on setting up a mice system in a lab, you'd spend about 10 rupees for a zebrafish setup. And the best part is the number of eggs that you get at one spawn from a single female is very high. And that gives you the ability to do experiments with a lot of reproducibility in terms of its statistical right, uh, right. reproducibility. The more experiments you make, the more, more data you, make, you get. The more data you take and mm -hmm. the more reproducibility of the data. So these are some of the advantages of using this model system. Over mice. Over mice.